Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and I have been asked by some of my viewers how I roll. Well, maybe that's not what they meant when they were asking how I roll, but let me talk to you about how I roll, how long it takes me, what denominations do I roll. Everyone has their own system, but let me tell you what I do. Um, I don't roll pennies at all. I don't roll pennies. Um, all the I don't re-roll them, I should say. I just take them to the coin star. A box of pennies will probably cost me uh, $2.70 in fees at coin star, which stinks. But by the time I pay for the rolls, the coin wrappers, I mean, and then take them to a bank with the gas and the time to wrap them, it's not worth it for me. But I do wrap nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, you name it, all by hand. Sometimes if I'm really lazy, I might I might take the, the nickels to the coin star, but that's rare. But I can save a lot of time and a lot of money with a few, just a couple of key things I do. So let me flip the camera around and show you what I do to save a little bit of time and money. We're gonna be doing quarters in this video, so I'll go ahead and show you the quarters box. I go ahead and buy a thousand crimped end coin wrappers, or they're also referred to as the preformed coin wrappers, um, for all my denominations, but uh, it's like literally guys $18 for a thousand of these now I have Amazon Prime so it's free shipping But when you think about $18 for a thousand of these that's like a couple of cents per roll a couple of cents per roll Two cents per roll times 50 rolls is a dollar in cost to wrap pretty much any denomination I have it's a buck so you're basically spending a dollar on rolls. My average box takes 20 to 30 minutes to roll up. So if I was paying myself $10 an hour, it would take me $5 in labor and a dollar in the rolls, six bucks, throwing a dollar for gas, $7 to take a box of quarters back. At $500 a box in, uh, in uh, total uh, coins, it's well worth not dropping it off at a coin star or even taking it to a bank and having to worry about dropping it in the bank and getting taking a week to get uh, your, your, your deposit credited. So I prefer for quarters, plus there's no fees when they're wrapped. My, my bank doesn't charge me any fees by bringing a bag in. Uh, the only, like I said, I'm basically a dollar of materials and a half hour tops of my time. Once I've got the, uh, and I've got that for all the denominations. I've got some nickel ones down there. I'm almost out of dimes. Um, I've got some overflow nickels here, and then I also have some uh, pennies down here, but I don't I don't do pennies. And then finally, I got my half dollar wrapper ones down there. So what I use as a machine is my Royal Sovereign coin sorter, guys. It's pretty simple. I've got some extra coin wrappers in here that aren't the ones I bought. They came in a, a little uh, sample that I got from a, a retailer. So I'm going to finish using these up first, but guys... This is super simple. All you do is drop them in there like that. Right? Push it in. Let me get this bad boy turned on back here. Gives you a total denomination. And you can drop in any denominations you want. This thing right here cost me less than 100 bucks. Less than 100 bucks. So let's say we hit uh, uh, run. And now it's ready, guys. And so for funsies, we'll take a few quarters here. And I'll just drop a few. It can hold quite a bit without getting jammed. So it fills up the roll. And it counts it out. And once you hit once you hit uh, 10 bucks, which is what a quarter roll is, The machine stops and says, hey, you've got a full roll. So then what you all, all you have to do is just pull it forward and it immediately starts the next roll. So we'll go ahead and get a couple of rolls done for fun. But then it takes a few seconds to unjam it. So I found it's just smarter to just let it do its thing. All right, four more quarters and we've got All right, once that's done, guys, it's super simple. You can see the way that this is set up. 
All you really, I'm gonna try to do this one handed. All you really have to do is push this up like so and pull the coin roll out like that. And I'm doing it one handed, so if it was two handed, I'd be already done with this roll. And then you just fold it in like that and it's done. Grab another uh, empty cartridge, slam it in there. Same thing, you'll pull that one out the exact same way. Push up on the gap like that. Pull the roll out. Add another cartridge in there just like this. And it's still waiting for me to push it back into position. And once I do, it'll start uh, counting again. So we got $20 done. Let me go ahead and pause this real quick. So what I want to do is set the camera up on the tripod and kind of show you how fast we can do a box. Now I've got a couple of rolls already done, I know, but you'll get you'll get the idea. I'll even have a stopwatch going right here. Matter of fact, when we get it started, I'll even start it and give it like 30 seconds before I begin. But we'll go ahead and get that started and we'll see how long it takes to get a whole box done. All right, guys, I let it run for a few extra seconds. I had some technical difficulties on the, I should have thought the face of this turns off quite a few times. So every once in a while I noticed the face was off, but we did $490 uh, on the screen. I don't know if you could see it. We had that one roll that we started with, the test roll. So technically um, I added about 10 seconds on. It took about 26 minutes to do this whole box of quarters. And uh, like I said, for a dollar in product costs and 26 minutes of work, this is ready to go back to the bank. That's how I roll. Now, when I go pick up my half dollars tomorrow, I can just exchange at that bank, because they like quarters, I can exchange a box of quarters for a box of half since they're worth the same amount. Well, there you have it, everyone. That's how I roll. I mean, I can get the rolls, the preform rolls for cheap, less than two cents each when I buy them by the bulk, and uh, 20, 30 minutes of work, they're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and as always, everyone, Thanks for watching.